right, so I'm in my beauty slash workroom and I'm getting ready to go out and run some errands. But I just want to show you guys because I know I'll get asked. This sweatshirt right here with these pretty, pretty detailing right here is from TJ Maxx. Um, I found this a couple weeks ago, fall. They're getting all their fall stuff out. And then these leggings, because I know people like to see this stuff on. These are just my Fabletic Power Hold leggings, and I, I love them. I have like five pairs. I think that they're so freaking comfortable and flattering. So that's what those are. And then these slippers right here are from Amazon, and I will tag those as well. I need to get a pedicure. I might do that later today. But yeah, this is what we're wearing. We're gonna run some errands, get some fall stuff. I'm super excited, so I'm so glad you guys are here. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, and let's go shopping. So today I am going to go out and find some fall decor. Um, I do have some stuff already, but just not probably. Like you have to go out and you have to look, you know? Like you have to hit up the Hobby Lobby aisles, it's just the way it is. Um, so I'm gonna go out right now and do that. I need to run to Walmart, I need to run to Ulta. I wanna see what they have for Tula products before I buy stuff online. I need to run to, I think I was thinking Target, but I don't know why. Yeah, I'm gonna get another coffee. Just kind of like a busy errand day. I go back to work tomorrow and I work Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I work Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So I kind of need to get stuff done today. Right, you guys, so before I show you what I got in my haul, I want to make some lunch really quick with Home Chef. So you guys know I love Home Chef. I make Home Chef all the time. So we're gonna make a really, really easy, fast one. This is what it comes in. Obviously, it comes prepackaged. Everything is sorted out for me, which is perfect. I'm going to make, let's see which one this is. We're gonna do the honey miso chicken with sesame broccoli, which is like the perfect lunch. It's a Home Chef Express meal. So, like I said, everything is listed right there for you. It's all in here, all sorted out, all perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and make this, and I will show you guys what the finished product is and kind of how the process is, but this one is only supposed to take me 15 minutes, which is perfect on busy days like today when I'm trying to do multiple things, shop, you know, decorate, whatever I'm trying to do. So, we're gonna do that. Massive shout out to Home Chef for partnering with me on this video. So glad to always work with them, I absolutely love them. So let's go ahead and make this. Guys, so again, I have all my ingredients right here. Perfect, I added a little fall touch to it. I'm just literally cooking up the chicken. I'm gonna make a serving for Sam as well. So that, that, and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to mine. You can season them however you wanna do it, but that's typically what I do. It's just add a little bit when you're pan searing them. And then the other thing I was gonna tell you guys is they do have 26 different meal options every single week. So you can kind of choose, you can stop a week, you can pause a week, you can do whatever you want. Obviously we get it like a couple times a month. That's why I show it to you guys when they do have it. So yeah. Okay, you guys, here is the finished product. This is very, very similar to the picture, if I do say so myself. Honey miso chicken with sesame broccoli. Looks perfect, the perfect lunch. It honestly took me less than 20 minutes to do it and very minimal mess. As always, Home Chef always hooks me up with the best deal for you guys. You guys can swipe up, swipe up. You can click the link in my description box and get $80 off your first four orders. That is $20 off each order. Super good deal, super good chance to try it. You won't regret it. You're literally getting convenience and it's food and we eat food all the time so it doesn't hurt to try this. It's honestly amazing, I love it so much. Go pick, go find stuff, you can customize them. It's amazing. So I'm back, I went to Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, Ulta, and Walmart. I had to get a few things at Walmart, which I need to go grab that bag actually right now, but I thought I would show you guys a fall haul, show you what I picked up. I didn't grab that much because, I don't know, I just, there wasn't like a ton that I was like super feeling that I needed to have, but I thought I would show you guys and we can just kind of go from there. And then I'll kind of pull out what I have and show you guys what I'm thinking in terms of decor. So some of the first things that I picked up at Hobby Lobby, I've had my eye on these for a little while and I'm like obsessed with them. Everything was 50% off and 40%. So like I didn't get anything regular price, which was great. I love when it's like that or you, if whenever just a Hobby Lobby tip, if you're going there and there's something not on sale and you want it, you can always get 40% off one item or you, if you have a nice cashier, you can probably like do separate transactions and get the Hobby Lobby coupon on your phone. So whenever I go into Hobby Lobby, I make sure that I have that coupon like up to date and like for that month and I will um, just show them that if I don't have a coupon. So that is just a little tip. I picked up these two fall mugs because I'm kind of moving away from everything in my pantry being Ray Dunn because I just, 
I like variety and switch stuff up. So I'm not like getting rid of my radon. I just like want to change it up a little bit. So I've been adding in different things. So I got both of these. These ones, this one says so very blessed and it's got like that pretty kind of um, different toned. It's like not heathered, like spotted. I don't know. It's really, really pretty. And then this one says I love fall most of all. I really, really liked these. I thought these were super fun. So throwing those both in my pantry. I found this. This was 50% off. It's super, super cute. Welcome to our place. I'm trying to decide if I want to put this on our front porch like with a... Um, oh crap, I forgot to get those at Walmart. Walmart has like um, outdoor hanging things that you can use to obviously like put signs on your siding. So I might go find one of those and hang this either in the front or in our garage because I, I just really, really like this. I thought it was cute. So I'm going to try and find something like that. And if I can't hang this out in the front, I'm going to try and find like a happy fall y'all sign. I don't want one of like the tall ones that says harvest or anything like that. I'm going to try and find like a, a unique one. I like getting like different stuff. So I'm going to try and find that. The best thing that I found at Hobby Lobby today was basically florals, which is where I go for like my florals and stuff. And I found some really good, good stuff. So these ones right here, again, everything was 40% off. So that's the only time you buy florals at Hobby Lobby. Otherwise they will break your bank. They're pretty expensive in my opinion. So I got these. These ones are just kind of like these pretty, they're like balls that you um, would see out in like, a freaking field or something i love them and then i also got these ones i got a few of these if you can kind of understand the detailing on these and i'm going to make an arrangement with these so god my lighting's like going in and out i'm so sorry but i'm obsessed with this i actually am looking at where it's going to go right now um, i'm going to replace the flowers over there and put these in i thought that these were really really pretty so we're going to do that the other florals that I got, I got four of these. I'm thinking these are gonna go in my dining room. These ones are like a, kind of like a sunflower that's like molding down and like turning into fall. And they have like all of these different pretty like prickly leaves in here. I just thought this was so pretty. I might actually turn the camera so I can make sure you guys see like what these actually look like. But I love this. I think that this is so, so pretty and there's so many different things you can do with these and mix and match them like don't ever think that you have to just buy like one and do just that like you can intertwine things and make like beautiful arrangements like that's why i like going i love when my mom comes with me too because she's really talented at putting together like stuff like this so these were the two that i loved i definitely will be back to get more but i just kind of wanted to get a start a basis of like what i have and kind of see where it'll go from there because you always obviously want to like be able to put the florals in something so i'm just kind of starting out with those for right now it's not really better but whatever <laughs> so i showed you guys this wicker pumpkin i think that this is gorgeous so so pretty and like different detailing inside of it i really really like that i also got a gray one you can stack these like it shows a picture of like a bigger one that you can stack but i just got uh, these two and then I got a white cream one Which I thought I don't know I'll find a place for them I don't think I'll stack them like that But you definitely can if you wanted to do something like that and that is so so fun like so different and fun so Those and then last but not least from Hobby Lobby are these fun little pumpkins. I thought these were so sweet I got four of them. This is what I'm talking about when I say that I don't like like a perfect orange pumpkin. I like stuff that's kind of like raggedy and fits into like my farmhouse theme. I already see a spot for these two and I need like 20 more. So I'll have to go back. But this is what they look like. They have that kind of twig thingy on the top. And then these ones right here, kind of same sort of detailing, just super, super fun. So I got four of those. Those were $3.99 each. All of this stuff was really, really good price when you nail it down to 40% off, 50% off, like super good pricing for all of it. So I was pretty excited about that. Okay, next is Home Goods. So I went to Home Goods looking for more stuff. Like Home Goods and TJ Maxx is kind of a hit or a miss with holiday decor. You'll go in one day and find like a full cart full, $300 worth, and then you'll go in another day and not find anything. So it just kind of depends. I got a few things that weren't full, but I found this for our bathroom. I'm trying to find some sort of way to store products better because our drawers are overflowing and it's really annoying. So like I've been trying to find the perfect caddy that's not like 
I don't know, I don't, I don't want something like generic. I wanted something that's gonna fit into the decor like I talked about. So this one's actually by Ray Dunn and I don't know if I'll keep it on this one with all the words on it or if I'll flip it and do this because this is just cleaner to me. But it's just tin and it has like the perfect little setting bottom. So it's pretty decent size. So I was gonna set that like right in the middle of our two sinks and see if I can put our products on that. So I'm gonna definitely keep the receipt because I don't know if I love that. That was $25. And then, I found some fun little fall things, just a few things here and there. I want my mom to come down and go together because she always, I love shopping with my mom. She always sees things that I don't and vice versa. Like we kind of compliment each other. So I found these little, I'll show both of them at the same time. These little match things. And I think I'm gonna put one in between my, on my tray here in the living room. But they're these little matches that, they're, these are Radon too. I didn't like purposely buy them because of that. But one says boo and one says blessed. I thought that those were fun, different. I've, I don't have anything like this. So I just liked that they were like kind of the orangish, more like fallish color. And they were only $4.99 each. So obviously I won't actually use them, but they're just like a fun accessory to throw in here and there on different pieces. So I'll hopefully be able to show you guys how I do that, style those. Found another fall mug. Like I said, I'm trying to incorporate different mugs, so I had to get this one. Love it. This is like darling. I think that this is so, 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 so good. The pumpkins, and then the pumpkin on the bottom. So, grabbed that. So, I have three new fall mugs to add into my pantry, and obviously, I just swapped them out with the seasons, which is great. So, those. And then, last but not least, from Home Goods was these little caddies. I grabbed these, these were $3.99 and I thought that they would be good for some sort of storage in the pantries because we have lids and shaker ball, little shaker things and stuff. So I thought, grab those and see if I like them and maybe go back and get more because those are awesome. And then this one I'm excited to show you guys. I'm actually gonna flip the camera and show you because these are just fantastic and I think that this is something a lot of people don't know about. A lot of people go for Scentsy and Walmart has the best little cubes, like uh, box cubes to burn in your senses. So I went to Walmart and basically loaded up, I'll show you guys here. These are so inexpensive and it's literally the best, I feel like, I don't even think it's a secret, but I never really see people post about them and my mom got me started on these a few years back when I was in college and I had my senses in my dorm rooms. Um, Walmart has the absolute best sense, you guys. Like, I swear to you. They're all $2 each, so this little thing has six in there, and I normally do two when I burn one, and $2. So I basically go crazy whenever I go. Just show you guys some of the best scents. Like, they're so good. They have a million limited edition scents. I buy the big ones of these, because this one's really good in the bedroom. I just like the smell a lot. And then this is pine. Like, I love pine, so I definitely got a big one of that. They only have a few. They have, like, 10 of the bigger ones, and then they literally have, like, 70 different small ones. Like, the flavors are so different, but they're similar. Like, pumpkin, like, here, example, pumpkin s'mores. And then they have, like, hammock breeze and lemon pumpkin, caramel fireside. Like, their scents are so amazing. And they burn fantastically you guys like i swear to you go try them they burn really really well they're way cheaper than scentsy and there's nothing wrong with scentsy i just love a good bargain if i can save money somewhere so definitely try these out i promise you won't be disappointed so that's what i got today from my little haul i might go back into town later i'm not sure i'm gonna see what i have in terms of fall and like get it all out and kind of pull some of my summer stuff out and see where i'm at but yeah, little fall haul for you guys. Okay, guys, I had to take off my freaking slippers because I was so damn hot from bringing up all my stuff. So I brought up all my fall decor from last year, which is diddly squat compared to what I have to decorate now. But, you know, work with what you have and move along. So I started to take down some of my greens and I'm just kind of playing with stuff right here. But this is what I'm talking about when I say that you can put a bunch of stuff in a vase and mess with it. This obviously is not completely done, but this is kind of what I'm thinking for right here. 
you just kind of got to mess around. Like I learned from the best. My mom has always said, you know, just like when you go to the store and you see something you love and you're like, oh my God, I don't have anywhere to put it. Buy it. You'll find a place to find it. Like if you really, really love it and you think you can't live without it, get it because you'll be able to mess with it, make it work somewhere. So this is what I'm talking about with different florals. Like you can intertwine them and you can do it with those. You could mix those with something. And then these are the ones I had last year. Clearly my style is changing a little bit. Those are really, really orange, so I don't know if, what I'll do with those. But this is some of the stuff I had last year. I don't know if you guys remember from some of my pictures, but I wanted to hop on and like show you guys just a few new things that I have gathered and have kept like put away just for a little bit. This pumpkin is one of them. I got this at Home Goods. This was $14.99, and it's a light up pumpkin. It's so cute. I think it's so cute, and it has a little light up in there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right there. Here we go. So that's really, really fun. I love stuff like that. Especially if it's a timer, you're able to just kind of let it go and it'll go on and off each day. They die really fast, but that's okay. I still am going to buy them. So that's one of the new things this year that I didn't show you guys yet. And then this bag right here, this was Hobby Lobby. And I got this stuff a little while ago, I think. But this is gonna go out on the front step. This just says thankful. I thought that was super, you know, festive, whatever. And then I'm gonna get a black checkered thing to go underneath of it. The one I have right now is okay and it'll work for a little bit, but I want something else to switch it up. I'll show you guys what process I make. And, and I told you guys about these containers. I need to go back to Hop Home Goods and get a bigger one. They had a bigger size for my Scentsies. Isn't that perfect? I thought it was. Obviously have a few because I have two containers, but yeah, okay. That's my update. My mom came into town and we went out and got a few more things. We went to Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, and grabbed some dinner. So I got two more full bags. So I thought I would include them in this haul. So to start, we went to Hobby Lobby, but the Home Goods bag is right here. And I'm just going to show these. These are kind of not really relevant to fall, but I showed you guys some of that earlier. So I got a few of these containers because I actually put my Scentsy Pods in them that I told you guys about and they worked out really, really well and I thought that they were super inexpensive and just super nice. Like, I can just throw that in a pantry and pull them out and they're organized instead of all being in a drawer all messed up. So I went back and I got the bigger ones, which is what I think I'm gonna actually take these out and put them in. So these ones are only $4.99. Again, these are pantry friendly. Like, these would fit in a closet or on a shelf, like whatever super good size and you can fit a decent amount and I like the handle a lot, I think that's why I was drawn to them. So I picked up two of those, picked up another one. This one's really big, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one yet. Sam also asked me for some storage stuff so maybe he will use this but grabbed another, another one, that one's $5.99 and then I found this too. This one was only $4.99 but this is just another like little handle thingy here for storage so. That was from Home Goods, and then I will show you guys the clock when we hang it because I bought a mammoth, like huge magnolia shelf or magnolia clock. It was $100, it's been there for a while. I like considered it, went back and forth. I sent my mom some pictures of some other ones, but you guys will see what I'm talking about. The wall is like massive, there's like a lot of space there. So I went with that big giant clock. So we'll see what that looks like. But went back to Hobby Lobby because my mom came and we like, threw some more pieces around. So I thought, um, and we like remembered things we were gonna go look for and we found some stuff. So picked up some more florals. Like I told you guys, were they 40% off? I think they were 40%. 40% off the florals. Some stuff was 50% off though at Hobby Lobby. So keep that in mind. Um, got a few of these yellow. I showed you guys these ones before. She helped me like with the arrangement with like pulling it out and I told you guys before like to mess around with it and like pull pieces apart and make them go together. So we got two more of these. 
And then I needed something for my dining room table, which I don't know for sure if I'm gonna put them in there because I don't wanna overdo it with florals because I have like a little arrangement over here in the corner that I'll show here in a little bit. But got these ones. These ones are kind of just like little piney branches. I don't know, I really, really like these. And these ones are really awesome because you can, again, pull these branches apart and make it look like bigger, oh. fuller. That's the word I was looking for. And these, these are really long too. And keep in mind, you can always bend these if you wanna put them in something or you can cut them. I'm speaking tips of my mom standing right here, but truly like you can do different things with them. So keep that in mind when you're looking at stuff. Like if you look at something and you're like, oh my gosh, this is way too long for the, like, the thing I wanna put it in or the glass vase, like, you can cut it, you can bend it, you can do different things. Or so, stick stuff down in. Yeah, or like an example for, <laughs> this is a fall tip, an example is we have a little canister over here that um, we put these florals in that she's messing with and we put some dish towels that we don't use in the bottom of it and it like just kind of gives it that higher so that it's not so deep in there and cutting off half the floral. So put something in the bottom like that or like styrofoam or something. Just something around your house you're not using and you can throw it in there. Next thing was a wreath. Definitely only buy wreaths when they're on sale because they're so expensive, but I had to have this one. I thought that this would be perfect. And I'll show you guys the spot that I put it in here in a little bit. Um, I'll show you guys finished products of everything briefly. It won't be like the full fall decor video, but just kind of where we put stuff. This was 30, so it was 50 originally and the 40% off. But I love the detailing on it. It kind of reminds me of like a field, like harvest and it's got the different shades in there. So I'm gonna put that on my white window by my front door. Huh? Over here now. Oh yeah. Um, and then we just wanted to get like a few little pieces and they have a whole section at Hobby Lobby that has like these like little ones. Like these were only $2.99. They're so, so pretty. Like the detailing on them is awesome. Just little frills that you can stuff in different places and mess with. Again, you can play with these and like make them more full, that kind of thing. Got two of those, and then we got two of these. Very similar, but in this one, these are like pretty enough to like be used like year round. So I was super excited about these ones. They have so many different ones. Like if you're into leaves, they have leaf ones, like all different kinds of options. You guys, this, I showed you guys my thankful mat for my front door. I'm gonna show you the finished product of that, but I got this to go underneath of it. So this will go on the front door and then the thankful mat over top of it. Oh, that's what I was looking for. That was only 17 something, so grab that. This is just kind of like a filler. These pumpkins and pine cones, little baby pumpkins. I have a spot over here that we're gonna put them, so. Yeah, that is everything I have. I will take you guys over and show you the clock, which is just massive, but I don't know if you guys can kind of see it. I guess it doesn't look terrible in this lighting, but this is the clock. It's huge. It's gonna go right there. We're gonna see what it looks like, but had to get it. It's gonna fill up that wall. This wall's been empty for a really long time and we needed a clock anyway, so there it is. Magnolia. I've seen this at TJ Maxx too, so go hit up your TJ or Home Goods if you're interested in this. All right, you guys, I think that that is going to conclude this fall haul slash vlog day video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you got something out of this video. Maybe you found some inspo for you to go and get something. I love you guys so much. Make sure you are subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps support me and it helps me know what you guys like. I love you so much. See you in the next one. Yesterday. Sun and there was rain